welcome to Wednesday. Uh, I just wanted to talk today about uh, a show that started airing. Uh, this show just happens to be one of my most anticipated anime of summer 2024. Um, the show in question is Oshinoko Season 2. <laughs> uh, picking up roughly where the, um, the first season left off, um, it, 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 I don't want to say it's more of the same because it is, like, obviously, like, the continuation, but, like, it definitely led to, um, it, 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 how do I put this? The adaptation was already doing very well, and this continuation just feels like the natural next step. Uh, they, um, the last one ended with the, um, the sister forming the idol group, adopting the name that the mother used to use. Um, but then this one, the, the brother, Aqua, he, um, he's taking on a bunch of different roles, uh, to try to figure out who allowed the killer to find their mother, which is his whole motivation across the whole show. But, um, it's very interesting to see different facets of the entertainment industry, and this one is showing this arc that just started with the start of season two is like getting into like theater, and it, that's not something I'm like super familiar with. So it is interesting to see like how that, like, the take that the author had on that, and especially how the. Um, how because it was an adaptation, the play that they're doing is an adaptation of a manga, that the, um, some of the actors might have an issue with the way a character was adapted, or the author might come in and be like, wow, what? <laughs> Which is something that also happened with, like, other parts of, other, uh, forms of media in the first season, but, like, this especially is, like, something that I appreciate because I personally am not familiar with theater very much. Um, but I'm definitely interested to see where the story goes and I really want to... The, the, the opening is very different tonally from the first opening, but it shows something that I'm vaguely aware about in the manga, um, where the, like the two, or the, the siblings finally reveal who they were in their past lives which is something that I was hoping would show up in the first season, but I didn't know how deep into the manga it was until somewhere between. And now I know, okay, it's like hinted at in the opening, it might show up in this season, which is good. Cause I feel like that's really big for their characters. <laughs> um, but it's only been one episode so far, so I don't really, I can't really say how exactly it's gonna go. But at the very least, I was, uh, I enjoyed the first episode, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Hello. Welcome to Thursday. Happy 4th of July. Uh, there is fireworks. It's 4th of July. What do you expect? But I have something special. These are just generic speakers that we sell at work. And I'm planning on streaming uh, Saturday night. So, I wanted to get these set up because there's an issue that I've been having. Uh, whenever somebody plays a sound alert, or any alert for that matter, it's out of sync from what I'm hearing. So the way that I typically do it is I have it set up to have it go through the, the default desktop audio device, and then that gets put onto the stream and I monitor that desktop audio device through my headphones, but I do it through OBS and not through hardware because I don't have everything set up to do that hardware-wise, and I don't know what the process would be to do that. So, to try to like mitigate the potential issues, I'm getting these speakers so that I can have it at a low level Enough that I can hear it, but still low enough that it doesn't get picked up on the mic. So I'm going to set that up. 
I hope that it, uh, fixes my issue. Well, it's working. Which is very good. I don't know which is left and which is right, but that's fine. Um, I really only need it to hear the Yoshi sound, because that's the most important thing. Uh, and that really doesn't need to have left and right set correctly. I mean, I will still try to set them correctly when I, um, when I get a chance, but there's a cat scratching at this door and it is bugging me. Please stop. Thank you. Anyway, the main thing was setting the, um, setting them up for alerts. And now they're set. So I mentioned a little while ago that I wanted to switch the doorknobs for my office with one of the other rooms in the house, and it's really hard to do this with one hand. Uh, so what I was waiting on was finding the, um, the key for the doorknob that's gonna replace this one. Um, and I found it. So today, we're gonna switch the doorknobs. All right, got the doorknob off. Let's go get the new one. All right, got the new one in. Just gotta put on the, uh, the screws. I would have, like, shown the process, but I didn't have a way to hold up my phone. None of my stands are tall enough, and I don't have, oh, I don't have a, a tripod for my phone anymore, because, um, tripod I would have used is being used for one of the stream lights. Anyway, let's get this doorknob on. So the main reason that I wanted to swap, to swap these doorknobs was so that I could lock this door, which is an issue I've been having because I have a garbage pail in here and the dogs like to go through garbage. So if the door is left open, which happens when people come in here, uh, the garbage will end up all over the place because the dogs suck. So now I have that swapped and now it's lockable, which is something I'm probably going to start doing when I go to work just because it's gonna save me some headache and that that's like the main reason. So I got called into work on my day off for something unrelated but when I got here the uh, ceiling was leaking and then like 10 minutes ago this broke. And, like we have half a ceiling tile in that one section because it has been a pain to try to get somebody in to fix this. My boss set up this to try to get uh, people away from here, but you can see it only does so much when everything is buckets and filling rapidly. And even on the other side, we have something set up, but that broken tile, and then these all look like they could burst at any minute as well. So, glad I'm only here for another, like, hour and a half, two hours. But after that, it's not my problem. And also the water being caught by the buckets is just yellow. So like, gross. A second one came down. And if you look closely, the other two are cracked. Outstanding. All right, I'm doing one final check before I leave for the day. As you can see, the things are still cracked. I might update if another one comes down, which it very well might, but. I don't want to be here any more than I have to. <laughs> so I did a lot of talking yesterday about the thing at work, but I did a stream of uh, Xenoblade 3. And in that stream, was that was the first stream with the speakers. And there was a Yoshi song that went off. I specifically asked uh, Nikhil to just at some point set one off. So he did. And uh, they did fine. But, uh, the old way that I did it was to have it monitored into my headphones and that would get desynced and that's why I wanted the speakers. I didn't turn that off and that really messed me up. <laughs> so I'm 
So I think going forward, I'm going to um, turn off the monitor and like make sure that that's good. <laughs> because, you know, it would be nice to not have to uh, redo songs. It's just, just a thought. I, I did a thing today. Kind of a little bit last night too, but I got them up today. If the thing would load. Hello. Thank you. I want to pull up uh, YouTube Studio to show you, but it's loading very slow today for some reason. Anyway. I uploaded, I haven't scheduled yet, but I uploaded the last five Xenoblade 2 streams. So most of the games that I play on stream, once I beat the final boss or whatever, and then credits roll, I'm, I usually call it good. Presumably too, I knew there was stuff that was locked to the post game, and then some stuff that's locked to New Game Plus. So I did some stuff in the post game, and I started to do New Game Plus, but I haven't finished it. I have to go back to it. But um, there were five streams of the base game after I beat the main story, but before I went to the DLC. And that's what those five streams are. So I have those up. I'm going to schedule them soon. <laughs> uh, I want to do the Paper Mario VODs and like mix them in. And I kind of need those done before I can schedule anything. I mean, I don't necessarily have to, but it will make it easier. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll schedule them all at once. Maybe I'll do that on Wednesday. Whatever. Um, so I have those, and they're set to be good soon-ish. <laughs> I don't know exactly when, but it'll be fine. Anyway, I'm happy to have that because there's one more thing in the uh, VOD backlog that's done. <laughs> so I can move on to Torna, Future Connected. Three? Got Pikmin 2 done. What else is on the backlog? Let me double check that. Two New Game Plus, Torna, Future Connected, uh, Persona 4 Golden is still missing a stream or two, Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, and a couple other things. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that, I'm, listen. My goal is, one of my goals was to have those all done, and I'm, I'm making good progress. So hopefully that'll, that'll come soon. And with this, this was the biggest hurdle, so... I'll definitely, uh, be able to make progress soon. Me and Ember streamed today. We did Paper Mario as usual. But what's not usual is that we got a raid. Not from one of my friends. I, I love the idea because I have like a tumbler with my name actually written on it right now that I was sipping water from. So I just love the idea that if we were to go through the pipe, I would come out the other side and you wouldn't. <laughs> For pigs, the bell toll. Chapter four. Oh boy. Whoa! I appreciate. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. First, Hello! It is raid! This because this is playing song. Yes, it is! Okay. Zach. Elsa! Thank you Hi. so much for the raid! Hello! Thank you! And when I went and, like, when I went and looked at the, uh, the channel, uh, they're a Twitch partner for about a year now, I think. Like six to eight months, maybe. It's a little less than a year, but still. Uh, they've been a partner for a little bit. And... They had a nice amount of viewers. Uh, I really appreciate it when people raid me. Um, it doesn't happen often, but it is nice when it happens. And I try to raid out when I can, but a lot of the time there's just nobody available that I would want to raid. Because it's usually people like three times my size that have raids turned off. Or they, um, it's Twitch plays Pokemon or some offshoot of that so I, I don't raid 
I try to read when I can, but I don't get too often. But it was nice. We uh, finished up chapter four. We're making good progress. Um, I'm happy with the way the game is going, and as long as it doesn't take too long, we should be fine. Because as you remember, as as I may have mentioned, there is a time limit of when this next semester starts up. She's not going to be available anymore. So I'm trying, hoping, to um, have her have this done before she goes back to school and should, because <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. There, I believe there's eight chapters in the game, so that's four streams, five at most if one of them takes a little longer. So we should be, we should be okay. But I'm gonna call it here. That's gonna be it for this week. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a good one, and I'll see you next week.